congressman comes forward, exposes massive FBI cover-up involving Hillary. Conservative politicians and pundits alike have recently emphasized cases of possible corruption within the FBI in regard to investigations including that of the Donald Trump transition team's alleged collusion with Russia and the Hillary Clinton email scandal. Now, yet another controversy is being brought to light that continues to paint the investigative agency in a negative light. According to The Hill, Rep. Ron DeSantis, Republican Florida claimed that he interviewed a retired FBI supervisor on Wednesday who alleged that he and his cohorts were instructed by FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe to refrain from referring to the 2012 Benghazi attack as an act of terrorism. The supervisor was allegedly told to distribute reports with the same redaction and changes to the intelligence community at large. The Timeline The Instructions which were delivered by top officials within the U.S. government, were alarming to the former supervisor, because the missives ignored a body of evidence that implicated a major al-Qaeda fighter in the organization and execution of the Benghazi attack. In other words, the government likely knew the attack was a terrorist attack, but refused to acknowledge it as such for political reasons. That information, alleges the former supervisor, was delivered to then-President Barack Obama. Shortly after the 2012 Benghazi attack, Obama officials were quick to attribute the attack to blowback from the Muslim community over an anti-Islam video that had offended Muslims in the area. This, claimed the Obama administration, was the motive for the attack, not terrorism. Rep. DeSantis, however, argues against this notion and instead blames the ordeal on the FBI's newfound tendency to involve itself in politics he said. What operational reason would there be to issue an edict to agents telling them, in the face of virtually conclusive evidence to the contrary, not to categorize the Benghazi attack as a result of terrorism? By placing the interests of the Obama administration over the public's interests, the order is yet another data point highlighting the politicization of the FBI. According to The Hill, with FBI Director Christopher Ray testifying before the House Judiciary Committee on Thursday, DeSantis and several of his colleagues plan to press him about growing concerns that certain FBI supervisors allowed political bias to cloud judgments or decisions. The President's Response These concerns are shared by Republicans on and off Capitol Hill. President Donald Trump took the FBI to task for their shortcomings recently when he became upset by the news that an FBI official with a prominent role in several high-profile cases, including the investigation into his transition team's actions and the Clinton email scandal, sent explicitly anti-Trump messages to his girlfriend. In response to Trump's tweets, former Attorney General Eric Holder grumbled that the FBI's reputation is not in tatters. It's composed of the same dedicated men and women who have always worked there and who do a great a political job. The investigation's special counsel, Robert Mueller, who many are now doubting is capable of leading an unbiased investigation, did quietly remove the agent in question, Peter Strzok, from his investigative team over the. Still, many feel that Strzok's presence as an investigator on Mueller's team in the first place tainted this and other investigations that Strzok was involved in. The FBI has not responded to the most recent allegations from DeSantis.